All right, let me get this straightened out here, hopefully. It's close enough. Mm -hmm. Maybe lower this just a bit. There we go. Hello, hello. hello. Is, <laughs> is the mic working? So we got a few people coming in here. Awesome. How many? Hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I have a yellow light flashing on my microphone. I'm not really sure why. It doesn't always do that. Um, I don't remember. <clears throat> I don't remember either. So, I'm pretty sure if you, yeah, red is. Yeah, I think. It so, works. hopefully, some if you guys can hear me, uh, someone leave a comment or whatever and say yes. Don't be shy. Say hi. <laughs> Don't be shy. Say hi. Excellent. So, anyway, guys, uh, we had some, some cool stuff to show off tonight. Uh, I got some new stuff, which is always fun. And, uh, and also, I've uh, been working on some anodizing that I wanted to show off tonight. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Um, yeah, I learned some new, new of them. <laughs> no, they will not. Uh, it's saying the connection. I just said the yeah, connection was on there. Oh, Jesus. Enough. It's fine. Okay. So down. anyway, um, we had, uh, one thing that we did want to show off here, uh, Mrs. J. Cool uh, sent some really awesome uh, stuff for us uh, here a little while back. And so we were going to show off. She did some uh, bandanas for our dogs. And actually, if this, this is crazy because it's backwards. Oh, it's a huge glare from the light. So there's our our three dogs right there. And yeah, Mrs. J those bandanas that you see on the dogs right there, which was really awesome of her. So I greatly appreciate that. So I'll be posting some pictures on Instagram and whatnot. And sorry if you can hear the dogs running around. They're, uh, yeah, they're running around and of course grabbing squeaky toys and stuff while we're trying to do this. Yeah, they laid on the couch literally all day. Yeah, yeah, they have moved all day. And Dana's for Kurt and his wife. So thank you very much to you guys. Greatly appreciate it. So just so you're aware, that's Thanks, uh, Philip. He the, says we have cute dogs. I the concur. the boxer. Her name is Emma, and then the uh, the dirty little one in the center. His <laughs> name is Mo Hada. Hi, Mary. Uh, we call him Mo. Hey, Philip, how are you doing? Barry, how's it going? And uh, the one uh, with the the uh, one with the light blue collar or the bandana on, that is, uh, his name is Walter. He and, is my pride and joy. Yeah, that's that's Molly's pride and joy. So anyway, we'll uh, get back to some nice stuff here. Enough with the dogs. No, more dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh Got some new stuff here on the table. Uh, yeah, I got this uh, this really great piece here. This is a uh, a manly drugger, and uh, I had I learned something about this because I posted a little video the other day, and actually, uh, apparently, I cannot read because right there, I. Uh, if I can get the camera to focus. I could have told you you couldn't read. Yeah. You just find that there. out. Yeah. I said that that said Wagner. It's actually mm -hmm. Wenger. <laughs> and that's the guy that designed the knife. Apparently he's German. Uh, and ah, it yeah. says Manly right there on the pommel on the end of the, the knife there. But uh, <clears throat> this guy's rocking uh, CPM 154. And like I said, it's called the Drugger. And you've got these really cool G10 scales here 
that uh, really nicely done, super comfortable in hand. Got some really nice jimping up here on the spine. And it does have jimping down here in this first finger notch, but uh, but it's it's kind of sanded over, so it's it's really smooth. You really have to push into it hard for that to even notice the jimping down here. But yeah, really nice, nice fixed blade from Manly. Again, you know, Manly does a really nice job with all of their blades, so it's ground extremely well and and really thin behind the edge. So I haven't got to use this thing much, but I'm hoping it'll be a really good performer. So pretty happy with that one. And it came with this Kydex sheath. And then the Ferrum Forge Mini Archbishop. Uh, cool little knife. It's a, it's a little tiny thing for sure. But uh, so this was a, a new new thing this week. And <clears throat> yeah. And then I also had, the if I get, grab them out here, a couple other orange knives. These came from uh, Dave at Tuya Knife. Uh, this this one here is the Cebu, and both of these are older models. But I'm going to be doing some cut testing with both of these. This one here is the Talisman, and it's rocking Aus 10 blade steel. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Mm. Hey Gerald, how's it going? Oh, you got to watch this in the morning, huh? Hey Gerald, hang on real quick because I'm about to show off some anodizing. So. Uh, hey Chad, Hi, Chad, how's it going? Uh, well, just just for Gerald, I'm going to show off some stuff here that I was going to do in a few minutes. But uh, this, uh, so I was trying to figure out how to do the what they call the entropic finish anodizing, and this was my first go at it right here. Um, but you can see that I started to get the the effect, but uh, it still didn't turn out the way that I was really going or wanting it to. So I did that one. And then right after that, I did this. And this happens to be a Tucson. This is a, a Tucson TS-51. This is what they call the boot dagger. And you can see the, the anodizing on there. And pretty uh, pretty interesting anodizing. This one actually turned out better on the inside of the scales than it did on the outside. Damn shame. Yeah, damn shame. But uh, but then I, I learned quite a bit from both of these. And then got this. Boom! One. <laughs> so if I can get the camera to focus. There we go. So sorry for all the glares, but it's pretty shiny. So, so I finally uh, got the finish that I was looking for and was able to figure out uh, what I needed to do to make that happen. So I did all the components on this knife. I did the back spacer and I did both sides of the scale and the pocket clip. So yeah. So it took took some took some tries messing around. He took but, over uh, the kitchen all day long. <laughs> but uh, but I got there. So so I was pretty happy with that. I was pretty pretty stoked when I pulled this scale out of it because if if anyone has ever uh, done this finish before, you, you can't you don't really know what you're getting until it's all said and done. Hi Tom. Hey Tom, how's it going? So uh, so yeah. So I was really happy with the way it turned out um, and definitely got some really cool colors. It's kind of hard to show it all off on, you know, with artificial lighting because it's just so much glare. But uh, it's so shiny, but definitely. And this happens to be uh, actually I don't remember this is a Tucson knife. I don't remember the number on it, but it's a it's actually a left handed frame lock. Um, but and it's a it's a front flipper, but cool knife. And so definitely pretty, pretty stoked on, uh, on the anodizing there. So one of the other, uh, cool acquisitions that I got this week that is going to help out quite a bit in the, uh, in the cut test is this little guy right here. 
So for those that don't know what this is, this is a sharpness tester. Hold on, you didn't know what that left-handed knife was? What uh, model? Um, yeah, I don't remember what model it was, what mm. number it was. Have to check into it. Yeah, a yeah. I'll, I'll uh, I can put it back up in the uh, comments or something afterwards. I just don't remember which model this one is. Uh, it's like a four, maybe forty-seven or something. I can't remember. <laughs> but in right and left-handed. Um, the reason I don't remember this one is because it's kind of a hawkbill blade, and that's not really my jam. Um, I'm not huge into uh, recurves, but it's a cool knife, and it's uh, it's really uh, ergonomic, and it's super comfortable in hand. It's just not one I use very often, and so it just made a good test knife for anodizing. But uh, Chad didn't have the guts to do a rare CKF knife. Somebody asked him well, to do that technique on it, and he oh. said, no. <laughs> Did, wasn't it you, Chad, that put up a CKF on your Instagram that had this type of finish on it? I, I swore it was you that I saw. Maybe it wasn't, but, but uh, it, yeah. Maybe just a different the, one. The one that I saw on Instagram was beautiful for sure. Um, I'm not sure who did it, but it looks good. So anyway, um, I was pretty happy with anodizing. It's certainly a, a cool thing, no doubt. And uh, so I'll probably, or I will at some point do a video on it once I get a little better at, uh, once I get a little better at doing it and, and replicate this every single time and get exactly what I want. Um, I certainly have no problem showing it out to the world on how, how it works. And yeah, Chad said he's got a bunch of them on Instagram. So yeah. yeah. Microphone, the knife. Yeah. I thought that was you. I swore. I swore you just spoke. Didn't you just post the CKF knife that has all the, the it's like layered uh, titanium where it's got, or it, well, it's just, it's like the Decepticon or I can't remember what the name of, I think it's Decepticon. Isn't um, that a transformer? Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, so anyway, so I got this uh, back to the, the finish that CKF offers. Chad, do you know? Or did someone do that custom? Hey, Jesse B, how's it going? Aloha. Aloha. Yeah, Jesse's from, from Hawaii. So, yeah. And he makes these sweet little brass pineapples. I saw on Blade Bankers uh, posted a video yeah. and showed the yeah the he did like they like pins or oh, they're uh, like well, statuettes <laughs> be, uh, lanyards, but then also some larger ones for oh, like a weight. Oh, got and you. And they're brass pineapples. They're pretty cool. Cool. <clears throat> um. Anyway, so yeah, so definitely going to be some uh, some good. Uh, Test videos coming up here really soon. I got a bunch of different blade steels that I'm really looking forward to testing. And uh, I'm not even going to show it off. It's You can see the marking there, but it's, well, I can try and show it. But it's really hard to read. It's real tiny. But it's uh, 9CR18 MOV. So this will be one that we do some cut testing with. Um, but just real quick, if you want to see how this works, I have the test meter up in the old rig here so it's got a specific tensioned uh, uh, test media that you string across this gap right here Hi, Jack. actually I don't know if I can show it off you can see the little wire right there running across so you loosen this uh, knob right here string the wire across tighten it up under this side and then and then cut the you slowly press the knife down through that test media and it measures the, Hi, the weight Jack. in grams. Barry wants you to hey. test the manly. Hey, Justin, Justin, how's it going? Oh, Mondak, test the manly. All right. Yeah. Um, the manly I've used a little bit, so we'll see how she does, but just know that this isn't a true factory edge, but uh, hopefully you can see the numbers there. <clears throat> I'm going to stick this on here like He's so. Good. How you doing? And we're going to start going down. And then. 
So 210 grams on the old Manly. Let me actually, uh, it may not sound very good, but really anything under 200 is getting screaming sharp. Um, I'm going to guess that the Manly is still going to be shaving arm hair. And show sure enough, it is. If you can, there you go. Yeah. I'm shocked you're not bald by now in the arms. So, so yeah, the, you know, at 210, it's still shaving arm hair. So this particular tester uh, measures in five gram increments. Uh, this one came from Sharpening Supplies, uh, which is a, a company out of Wisconsin. They have a ton of uh, sharpening stones and different types of systems. They sell Tormex and KMEs or I don't, I, I don't uh, uh, sharpening accoutrement, if you will. Accoutrement. <laughs> yeah, they, they have strops and all kinds of stuff. So if you guys are ever looking for any of that kind of stuff, um, check I them am, out. yeah, check them out. I, you know, I don't get anything for it or anything like that. They just seem like really great guys. And, uh, they have got the sharpening tester or sharpness testers. They have three different models and this is the middle one. Uh, it's called a PT 50 B. Uh, and like I said, it measures in five gram increments where I think the top of the line one measures in single gram increments. Uh, but, uh, let me grab that box really quick. Just so I can throw the, the card up and you can see the what it came with. Uh, I had it out. Let me grab it. Uh, so unprepared. How yeah, weird. I'm really un unprofessional here. <laughs> so here is the chart that it comes with for, so you can see. So you can see there, you know, 200 is a laser blade. Uh, so getting, you know, anything under 100, you're getting into really, really sharp <laughs> stuff, which is really cool. Hey, Jack, what's up? I didn't know if you were still around or not, or if you died on the farm or what happened. But uh, Oh, no, not a fifth, farm death. <laughs> fifth Arch, how's it going? <clears throat> the voice of reason is here. <laughs> yeah, the voice of reason. Uh, yeah, Jack, uh, I got to tell you it was that you did. The editing was fantastic. Dog's going nuts. <laughs> I'm a Russian hacker. Jack is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Perfect. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm real excited about getting this sharpness tester. So when I do my cut testing, uh, you know, I, I, I still don't have the high and low numbers, but uh, that I'm going to use yet. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of testing to figure out you know, where, you know, obviously what we just saw was uh, the manly was 210 grams <laughs> and it's still shaving arm hair like no other. So, so I don't know at what point uh, we're going to call the quote unquote fine edge holding, you know, maybe that's 400 grams or something. I'm not sure. But like I said, I'm just going to have to play around with it and find out what those two numbers are. And, and I think it'll give some uniformity across the board, uh, which is really, cool. uh, you know, and then if, some other guys like Gerald, I don't know if he's still in here or not, but you know, Gerald and, and BJ and Tom Hosang, and there's several other guys, uh, super sissy Steve, if he's still around, I, I don't know. He may have died actually. I'm not really sure. <laughs> oh no. Um, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> yeah. He, he just, Steve, how you doing? Uh, but it, oh, it'll, yeah. Super sissy Steve. <laughs> So, uh, Lol. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, it'll be cool if we can, you know, start to, to get some kind of uniform, uh, stuff going on there. You know, the, <laughs> the HRC testing that Kurt's doing is fantastic and certainly given good ideas of, about these knives. But, um, uh, you know, I, I just had a couple, uh, well, I had one that really shocked me that cut way more than I thought it would. And then I had one that that did horrible that I thought was going to do a lot better. So it just goes to show that, that HRC only thing. Um, but yeah, so, you know, it's cool. And, and there's a lot of guys out there <laughs> doing it and that's awesome. So this Jack you know, guy is funny. Yeah. Yeah. Jack's funny for sure. Uh, <laughs> and Steve Hope you've been doing, mama. <laughs> he said, 
You, Steve, hope you've been doing mediocre. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, oh, I love it. Yeah. So, uh, so what's everybody carrying today? <laughs> Other than yo mama. I just... You got me in the giggle. <laughs> yeah, right, right in the giggle dick. Yeah. <laughs> Jack's just jealous <laughs> that you're taller. Jack, I, I that's got to be bullshit. I know there's no way Steve's taller than you. I when I first started watching Super Sissy Steve's videos, he ran his mouth like he was, and and then I saw him when he actually was next to something I could get a good size representation. He's just a little bitty thing. Mm. He's like just five a, seven or just five a eight little or something. Guy. Yeah, he's just a little guy. Fifth arch is he's got all right. a TS what, one twenty eight. <laughs> nice. And a CRK team Montosa. Namaste. From How's Namaste. it going? Namaste. Mada. Mada. <laughs> so true story. Mm. Only five eight. So Steve, mm. you're taller than five eight. Five nine. Thank you. Oh, well. oh you sound like my brother. <laughs> So I, I brought this knife out here. Um, I actually just took this knife in on trade. And this happens to be, if you guys can see it right there, the first hogue that I've seen yet that's got a broken spring. So I'm sure that, you know, I have never used hogue's warranty before. But we're going to find out Aww. what it's like. Namaste says we're his favorite knife couple. The favorite knife couple? Fantastic. We better be. <clears throat> What's well, five, a five eight and eleven sixteen? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. What's a Yo Jimbo? A Yo Jimbo? Yo Jimbo? Yeah, it's a, I don't speak Spanish. I will see your Yo Jimbo, <laughs> and I will raise you this <laughs> this ridiculous freaking. I can't even get it all on the screen. <laughs> this thing is absolutely ridiculous. So <laughs> we're all crazy now, huh? You're welcome. <laughs> Maybe change it to average steel, Steve. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> Gosh, you yeah. guys got yuck yucks out the butt. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. That's awesome. <sighs> so, uh, <laughs> everybody, uh, everybody enjoying their Sunday evening tonight? No. <laughs> No, 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 no not know. at all. No. <laughs> I can't and a believe, Glock 30. I can't Ooh. believe Kurt's not in here. No. After we showed the pictures of the dogs and everything. I like, know. No Kurt. He's dead to us now. Fifth yeah. Arch loves butt stuff, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Is that... I, I'm sorry, dude. I don't have any good... Uh, oh, actually, this... If you cut the flipper tab off of this one, this might this might uh, be a uh, get high praise for suitcase ability. So maybe maybe Fifth Arch might be in the market for the little uh, Ferrum Forge. Uh, what's oh the uh, what the hell is this? The Mini Archbishop that and that works with the name. So there you go. Red's here. He's Big late. Red. I do not accept your apology. <laughs> Big Red AJB, what's up? So, <laughs> Big Red, we got some. Uh, Fifth I Arch, was, are you actually going to DM Steve? <laughs> uh, you sliding into his DMs, are you? <laughs> hey. You got to let us know how that turns out. So, for those that weren't here earlier when I showed this off, I've been I've been Occupy trying her. hard to to uh, do some cool anodizing, and after multiple tries, I was able to to come up with this finish right here. And I'm um, pretty pumped with the way it turned out. So, you know, show it off a little bit there. The, he, here's some of the, the shit that went wrong. Well, not really wrong. It just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. But there's a little pride bar and here's another, another knife here. So, yeah. <clears throat> So, so Steve and Fifth Arch are just uh, gonna skip off into the sunset, just chasing the sun together, or what? I guess. Right on. May Scott. Hey, hey, Steve, what's going on? Steve Kluver, not average steel Steve, the ass. Steve, you missed all kinds of stuff. So, 
I, I just saw that. So so Fifth Arch prefers prominent pecker, huh? If he's mm-hmm. gonna if he's gonna suitcase one of these, he wants he wants he wants something like this right the here. The pry bar just... looks like it was suitcased by Fifth. I love it. Yeah, mm. that's awesome. So oh dear. <laughs> so one of the things um I, this has <sighs> this video hasn't dropped yet, but uh I'm gonna show you guys something here. And um, you can't see it on the blade because <laughs> Kurt was nice enough to do this under the, the handle here. Super zeal. Because <laughs> I was tucking Fifth's mom in. <laughs> well, that's oh, awesome. That's really nice of you. Yeah. So uh, this uh, mm-hmm. Todd Begg Steelcraft knife here, uh, for those that don't know, these are made by Riot, and everyone gushes and goes on and on and on about how wonderful Riot is, and they do all this beautiful stuff. And I would agree, they do some impressive machining. And yeah. as you can see on this knife right here, the machining is most certainly impressive, uh, and it's well done, <laughs> and all that stuff. Well, so this uh, S35 VN blade was sent out to Kurt, and... I don't remember exactly what the number was, but I can, I can tell you 100% accuracy. It was shit. <laughs> um, so this thing was like 54 or something, 54 or 55 HRC. So um, yeah, kind of an interesting situation there. So I'm going to, uh, it's not uh, so shiny in person. It, it definitely looks a little, Mm, a little extra on camera. Just no. FYI. I don't know. I think it looks pretty, pretty, uh, it's pretty lifelike to me, oh, but no. whatever. Anyway, um, you have bad eyeballs apparently. Cause I have glasses that fix mine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I thought it was pretty interesting for, uh, the Riot knife, I just had higher expectations for it, for sure. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. I, I haven't done the cut test with it yet. I'm I'm interested on how many uh, tens of feet of cardboard it's going to cut. So, that should be impressive. It, you know, we'll see. But, uh, Riot, definitely, uh, we got some emails going. And so, we'll, we'll see what happens, I you know. We'll I see. don't know. We'll just really have to see. Well, guys. yeah, we're just gonna have we're to see, bud. Have to see. I'm just gonna have to see. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen with that. But uh, yeah, it was it was kind of disappointing. That's for sure. On on a brighter note, real though, it takes zero wiggles, none. None. It's, it just drops. not even one. No, well, once yeah, no. Hmm. No wiggles. It sounds like Fifth Art's gonna wiggle up into them DMs. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's it's like one well, or two wiggles. That looked like a couple wiggles. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, it it you gotta wiggle. That's it. like you wiggle it just a little bit. Yeah, it's like yeah. Or it's a like lot three of wiggles. How much does it weigh? Um, that's a good question. Uh, hold on just a second. We'll find out. And can you finger flick your Maverick? My Maverick. Oh yeah. They Boom! <laughs> what, bitch? <laughs> like a boss. You know. Uh, I had to go and get the scale. <laughs> Jack attacks here. Hi, Zach. What's up, Zach? What? Is old, uh, Why do you have to crash, Jack? You're real funny. Like a and boss. And <laughs> I... <laughs> Gotta, gotta go, get huh? up and round up some. Cabins. Gotta be farming. So it's winter. <laughs> so the uh, the bag knife is almost six and a half ounces. Yeah, I'm sorry about it. Wow, that sucks. Three to three thirty. <laughs> if you fake farming job. <laughs> uh, we'll just throw that and one Jack out has there. sixty-seven gifts. <laughs> Jack has sixty-seven. He does. I don't. I don't know. I've never been to Jack. Sorry house, about so. your wife. Yeah. So we'll try the this one here that I anode. 
So it's under four and a half ounces. 61, we lost a few to the plague. <laughs> lost a few. That, that, <laughs> new, that new coronavirus going on. Yeah, got, they got, got that farm boy got family. It's like, it's like SARS. <laughs> you had to wear the little masks and everything. <laughs> 60, fits <laughs> mama <laughs> ate. <laughs> oh, that's good oh stuff. Uh, oh, that's awesome. I... So love these yolks. Yeah, they're yeah, good. there's some good jokes going on. I love sure. a good old fashioned your mama joke. <laughs> so oh. speaking of jokes, there's been all sorts of people. When one of the live streams that we did for the people that weren't in here during that night, uh, for those that don't know, my wife's name is Molly, and we had this big conversation about how she hates it anytime she's introduced to someone new because they always say, Oh. I know so and so has a dog named Molly. Yeah. <laughs> and it happens all the time. All the time. So my wife was just telling me the other day that her and my daughter were in the car together and, and my daughter looked up my wife's name on Urban Dictionary. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know this, but you can look up your name and it'll tell you like there's many um descriptions of a person because you know it's open to the public and people can post Damn. on it, but it'll tell you kind of what what that person's like or whatever. Yeah, it's like a personality description based off of your name. So it's total horse shit. Oh, but... Namaste only listens for me. Thanks, bud. Nice. Nice. But uh but anyway, so apparently on Urban Dictionary, if you type in Molly, it said it said Mollies do not like to be uh, have drugs named after them or have dogs named after them, yeah. which I thought was hilarious. Yeah, and we had through well, I didn't read them. She was all that kind of personality trait. Yeah. And then she gets to like the third paragraph description from another person. And it starts out with the whole Molly's don't like to be called drugs or dogs <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. And, that's and awesome. She, I about died. I was like, see, I told you. Yeah. <clears throat> so the, uh, the next couple knives that are about to get this, this same <laughs> Anno work you know, done is this guy right here. Super this. Steel Steve says the next dog he's getting, female or male, doesn't matter. He's <laughs> naming him Molly. It's named Molly. Hell yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty funny. I'm okay with um, fasteners for sheetrock. I can I call those Mollies myself. So yeah. that one I'm okay with. It's really just the dogs. It's the dogs it's that really get her just because the dogs. it happens. People don't really so... bring up Molly the drug so much. But... Yeah, other than Miley Cyrus, but yeah, right. Uh, but it happens so much. It's boggling it's like how every often... time I yeah. meet someone new in a work situation yeah. in a social situation, it does not matter. Yeah, Molly. Oh, Molly right. has to be like one of the top two or three names for a dog of all time because it happens all the time. Mm -hmm. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's something. <laughs> it's something. So, so yeah, both of these uh, two sun knives, I'm going to do some, uh, some anno work on them when I get a little time. So, pretty stoked about that. And uh, since we got some people in here, one of the things that we are going to talk about, which I just remembered. So, I'm about to cross over 750 subscribers, which really honestly blows my mind i started this channel like too, like five bag. i am but <laughs> but like five you know five uh, five or six months ago that july i think was when it started but but it blows my mind that there's it blows my mind that there's 15 people in here listening to us talk at the moment but <laughs> anyway uh so i'm gonna have a giveaway coming up really soon uh we're gonna do it we're gonna call it 750 <laughs> subscriber giveaway and uh, just so everyone's aware, uh, you, there will be some cool gear and stuff that's in this giveaway. Uh, but there's also going to be some random crap. It's a special edition. Let me give you a little backstory. Yeah, go, if ahead, I will. go ahead. So, through. Are we cussing? Can we cuss? Yeah, yeah you can cuss. Okay. Chill. Mm -hmm. Christmas or birthdays, we would <laughs> get garbage bags. And go through our parents' house, you know, if we're in high school. And just find random crap that nobody wants anymore. Or just, it's just junk. Like, it's just been sitting there forever or whatever. And, or like, stuff that we've gotten for gifts. And we're just re-gifting. 
and uh, we would just throw it in a garbage bag and give it to each other for Christmas. <laughs> and it's continued to be a tradition. I still do it. Uh, my gift to you, I mean, both of our gift, because, yeah. you know. Yeah, there'll be but, a few. Yeah. Um, we're going to include one random yeah, piece so, of crap. <laughs> so there's going to be a handful of prizes that we're going to give away. And each one of them will have, you know, some type of EDC gear. Um, and, and there might be a multiple, uh, a handful of things. Uh, but then there's also going to be a, a, a random bag of crap gift that gets sent to you. And it may be something that like we got for Christmas that we, you know, was a total shit gift that, that, you know, everyone knows what I'm talking about. Something that you want to re-gift. Or it might be something that uh, has been sitting in my drawer for the past four years. <laughs> I'm sick of fucking looking at it. <laughs> there you go. So I was just reading the comments, and Steve, you said that the the Ferrum Forge sisters took down their age. I I've never. So yeah, we'll <laughs> pass it on for sure. Sorry, I don't have a fruit cake. <laughs> Yeah, Fifth Arch, uh, Gerald's uh, M390 testing. Uh, if you're talking about the <laughs> Kershaws that he just recently posted, actually one of those knives were mine. Um, and it's uh, it's pretty interesting uh, that the HRCs on those knives tested really well, but the knives themselves did not test very well, which is kind of interesting. And I mean, they're decent, you know, for a for a 65 or whatever they are, $70 knife. Uh, but uh, but definitely, it was it's pretty interesting to see because I think that that Kershaw link that I had in M three ninety, it tested uh, like sixty one point two or three something like that, but yet it it definitely did not perform like you would expect for M three ninety that hard. So I'm just fidgeting with some knives here while we're talking. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably not any dog collars. Nope, nope. The dog stuff around my house actually gets used. Yeah, <clears throat> there might be some like any more though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, <clears throat> maybe an old stinky dog bed. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, uh, so anyway, skulls? yeah, it should be kind of <laughs> interesting. Um, so we'll be getting the, the giveaway, give it, uh, the giveaway video up <laughs> here <laughs> pretty <laughs> soon. <laughs> um, Manny Z, how are you doing? Gregory? I'm missing some people here. I'm not paying any attention to what's going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what's up, Alex? What's up? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Real quick, Rascal, since you just jumped in here, uh, I wanted to show this off. I haven't sent a picture of this yet, but got some uh, some decent uh, results here. On the backside, I figured out that if you go hotter, this is what you get. So there's definitely a, a fine line, um, but uh, but yeah, turned out pretty cool. It's kind of hard to show it off without the with the artificial light there. <clears throat> and then there's some there's some test the test pieces that I messed around with. And there's a oh yeah, this knife here. So yeah. It's a very bronzy one. Yeah, real bronzy. But apparently that's what fifth arches deuce is like. So <laughs> according to Steve, I don't know. Right. Apparently no, no, he's been there. Not know I mean, this. yeah, Steve, right. we just learned this tonight. You were just late to the show. I'm just trying to catch you up, get everyone up to speed here. So save the shipping costs and give the junk gifts. To... I, I give plenty to Salvation Army. This, these are going to be. <laughs> I, I want to just pay it forward. Steve says we need to send a fifth arch of Polaroid of our dog's nutsack. <laughs> um, I mean, they're empty, but okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he lost his uh, he lost his boys a while ago. Yeah, both of them are ballless. Did anybody get in on this, uh, the pre-order of this uh, 
Tepe Hornet 2. This thing is a is a really really sweet knife. <laughs> I'm I'm always in a mean mood, Barry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you guys talk that she's uh nice and all that sort of stuff. She's really not. Actually, well, she Well, it, it, honestly, I mean there's times that I'm scared for my life. Oh. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, don't right. be a baby. You want to talk about drop shutty? Oh. <laughs> oh. This is like what do they call that when the people eat and People listen to like what I can't remember, uh, ASMR. It? ASMR. This is you gotta be quiet. You got real close to the oh. microphone. Nice. This this one here. This is actually a a Tepe Tepe and Night Morning design collaboration. This is a sweet knife. This thing's begging <clears throat> for some anno, but uh, but this thing is. So drop shuddy as well. Oh. Yeah, waking up next to a snoring husband does tend to make one mean. Um, did I see the Stasa Anna work on the knives you sent to Transparent to auction off? I did not. Uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll have to check it out and Check out the transparent knives, but uh, is this kind of what it looks like, Steve? Ooh, Bunya, that's a good point. I am a kind soul for forgiving mm. him for his near slip referring to me as a dog. You're going to send me a link to one of them? Yeah, so after I saw Stasa... Uh, posting pictures of that anno work, I was bound to determine to figure out how he, that was happening. Um, and so here you go. This one was done just today, right here in my home. Brand new, never been used. <laughs> Brand new, never been used. <laughs> yeah. So pretty cool. Um, and it's a, it's a completely different process for sure. Uh, definitely unlike anything that I had, uh, expected honestly but it's cool for sure and in person i mean the amount of color and the depth and stuff is it's really impressive it's pretty cool mm -hmm. so <clears throat> very so, pretty yeah it'll it'll be really sweet on this thing i'm definitely gonna gonna hook the old maverick up with some with some cool anno and i'm gonna have to come up with some really badass name for it and um you know, there's Stasified's already taken, so I can't use that one. Um, <laughs> and and I love Nick. Nick's a great guy. Uh, I've never met Nick in person, but he seems like a really great guy. And and his wife, his whole family, uh, you know, several of them have been on his videos. They just seem like awesome people. Uh, so, so yeah, definitely. Uh, he does some beautiful work, and I'm super jealous of that quiet carry uh, drift that he has. After that thing, it looks beautiful. And that's a super cool knife with the Van X and Melito Fied. <laughs> Melito Fied. There you go. Uh, yeah. Stupefied. Yeah. Has anybody? Mm. Has anybody that's in the chat? Uh, does anyone have the Quiet Carry Drift? Was that? That's that's certainly a knife that that I'm kind of. Uh, Jones in for that that one looks pretty badass for sure. And need your fix. <laughs> yeah, and I mean not really, but but you know, it's it's a cool one for sure. It's yeah. one I've been eyeballing. Got your so eyeballs on. Yep. Cool. We need another knife in the house. <laughs> yeah, we need more <laughs> knives. Need more knives. <laughs> yeah. Your face keeps cutting out, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Feed Sorry. keeps cutting out. Sorry, man. My smart ass. Yeah, we live out in the country. You know, it is, I guess. Um, Lido sh the Lido Shuffle Anna. So, so yeah. Uh, so, we got the giveaway coming up, and that <laughs> should be a good time and be a lot of fun. Uh, 
for those of you that were around for Zach, uh, he did a live stream a little earlier talking about his time at Blade Show. And and uh, if you haven't checked out his videos that he posted uh, from Blade Show, or not Blade Show, Shot Show, sorry. I have some questions when uh, you're ready. Oh, you asked me how tall I am? Bitch, I'm 6'2". <laughs> and also how many, Chad wants to know how many knives you have. How, oh, um, I, I don't know. All of them. <laughs> Not all of them. It but, feels like it. Yeah. <laughs> Say anything under six five you in the back. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say bring it. Oh. I'm gonna say bring it. Oh man. I ain't scared. You got some balls. <laughs> <laughs> he says six two. Yeah. I'm you can't lift a foot that high. I ain't scared. <laughs> so uh. So anyway, um, we're going to be a blade show, Steve. So, you know, we're going to have to drink some beers and, and we'll see if you can get a foot up that high. <laughs> Bet. Right. Does Mr. Haney come around in this model T truck selling stuff? Zach, are you, are you really six, uh, six, four point or yeah, <laughs> almost six, five, or are you just saying that because of Steve? Or you just you just wanted to get kick in the nuts. Well, Zach said earlier that he had large hands, size large, like wears a large size glove. So I'm just wondering if he's like Tom and he's actually six five and has just really tiny hands. Because mm, mm -hmm. I'm six two and I have large hands. Well, the I wear two XL gloves, so it's actually kind of hard to find gloves that fit my fit my fat ass hands. He's actually um, six foot. He says. Okay, so. Yeah. He can like touch you and it hurts because he doesn't know the force at which these things I got, are. I got meat hooks. It's I did a lot, of, a lot of wrestling and stuff and did some MMA <laughs> fighting when I was young. Not and so yeah. just saying, well, well, yeah. As I used to be as well. So, Ooh, so all it, right. Yeah. On. So Ooh, this is gonna be fun watching so two for, old fuckers. Yeah, 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 for two old fucks, uh, all I all I can say is is that I can bring it hard for about a minute ten, minute twenty, <laughs> something like that. And that's <laughs> after after about sixty to ninety seconds. That that's about all I've got in me. So, but I'll make those first sixty to ninety. Watch count. your taint. He said he's gonna punch it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and not just any punch, su Superman. Su Superman punch to the taint. Well, you're gonna have to jump to reach it. That's the thing. Seven second rounds. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, it's confirmed. No doubt. Namaste. Yeah. I I am making this happen. That, that, that's epic. Seven. <laughs> well, I probably will. She she's taken me before, so <laughs> so it's all good. I know she'll take us. <laughs> when something serious happens, like my heart kind of turns on, and hey, I'll help. Taz's world, uh, Chad. Yes, yes, we do live in Iowa. land of Gable. Yes, yes, land of Gable. That is correct. Yeah, I I, uh, I grew up going to Dan Gable's wrestling camps when I was a little kid, and and then for speaking of actual fighters, if you guys are familiar with any of the MMA fighters from the Midwest, I trained with Pat Militech and. <laughs> And Matt Hughes, and there's a handful of guys from <laughs> Iowa that gained a little bit of fame there for a little while, and and uh, so yeah, you know we yeah did did a bunch of dumbass shit when I was younger. That's yep. that's about all it comes down to. I was just one of the dumb ones because this was back in the day that you really could, <laughs> there was only a couple UFC events a year, and so you were I was literally fighting in bars for four or five hundred bucks on a weekend and. It came down to do I keep showing up to work with black eyes for a couple hundred bucks or do I, uh, you know, like actually grow up. So I chose to grow up, uh, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. It was a, it was a good time. It was a lot of fun. And and uh, yeah, I wouldn't change it for the world, but I'm all talk, Steve. <laughs> Smith I'm is not in camp for me. Uh, yeah. In a pinch, though, I don't know, you piss me off enough. I might kick you in the face. <laughs> yeah, she says that. She uh, she she went off one time when she was pregnant with our daughter. I went off we, two times when yeah, I was pregnant. Yeah, yeah we, we were at a gas station. I was getting gas in the car, and it was in the winter time, and she was way pregnant, and uh, like a month away from giving birth to our daughter, and 
And all of a sudden, I hear just somebody yelling and screaming, you fucking trailer trash bitch. And I turn around and look, and it's my wife yelling at the girl that worked at the gas station. And it was unbelievable. Yeah. And then I and, did it at work because somebody was trying to pull one over on me and try and get a five-gallon bucket of paint for nothing. And I was like, oh, hell no. And yeah. then she called me a cunt. And it was on. It was like uh, a switch. Chad was a wrestler. Yeah, nice. Wrestled for Eric Aiken. Awesome. I know a dog named Molly. <laughs> yeah, you, you'll lose all the teeth. You probably yeah. only have six teeth. So. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was excellent. You're welcome. Oh, uh, yeah. Man, where's BJ at? I figured he would be in here tonight. Huh. <laughs> Big Red just says LOL. <laughs> yeah. La, la, la. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, Florida. Yeah. Exactly. You're in Florida. Exactly. You fucking hillbilly. Oh, you're from Florida. <laughs> exactly. I didn't read it all. I was going to say, I thought you lived in Georgia. That explains everything that I need Chad, to know. You're, you're a three time Kansas State. Oh, dang. That's awesome, dude. Trains a lot of champs, like the Korean zombie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, oh, no. uh, uh, good God, what's his name? Uh, he's uh, he's an MMA fighter. I can't think of his name. Yeah. Um, kind of gotten out of that hole. I don't know yeah, who's fighting Yeah, anymore. honestly, I've, I've kind of grown out of it. I, I was rolling with some guys in Des Moines for a while, some time ago, and I just, I, it just, yeah you know, kids and life and just gotten too busy and old. Um, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't, what, what's his actual name? Chan Steve? Sun I can't Young? remember. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Chan Sun Young. <clears throat> yeah, no, he's a badass for sure. Uh, oh, Taz's world. Um, so, uh, it's really small just to give you some sort of idea, you know, there it is in my hand. I mean, you know, if, it's a three finger knife for me. It, if you choke up, it's still honestly kind of a three finger knife. I, you know, it's my pinky hits it, but it's not super comfortable. I like the shape of the knife and I've only had it for a couple of days. So I haven't got to, I haven't done a ton with it. I wish they would have put some texture on the carbon fiber. Uh, it's really smooth. And because of how small it is, it's a little bit, uh, it's not difficult. Well, I mean, you can, you know, Spidey flick it and it flips well and all that stuff. Um, I have, I haven't seen anything about this knife being made by someone other than Ferrum Forge, but I have a hard time believing that Ferrum Forge actually made this knife. I have a feeling this came from either we or, or you know, Civivi, we, whatever you want to call them, same company. Uh, and it's stainless steel liners, which kind of surprised me. Um, I thought it was going to be made just like the the uh, Mass Drop Gent. It, uh, with, somebody asked if you think it's smaller. Really smaller yeah. than the Gent. Um, I, if uh, Gerald is still in here, he has my Gent. Um, so I, so I honestly, I don't remember. He's had it for so long. I don't really remember what, how big it was, but yeah, no, it's smaller than the gent. Yeah. Taz thinks um, it was made by we as well. Yeah, I, I for sure do. Uh, for, for what they're asking for this knife, I think, um, I, I think it's pretty expensive for what it is, you know, in with steel liners, I mean, yeah, it's carbon fiber. The backspacer is for sure carbon fiber. And it's not, um, it's not, you know, peel ply carbon or anything. It's, it's truly carbon fiber. If I can get my camera to focus. Hello. Maybe Hello? lower. Yellow. There it goes. I so, know. so it's, it is truly carbon fiber. You can start to see the layers there. And the backspacer is also carbon fiber. <laughs> uh, so, you know, that part's nice, I guess, but I mean, you can get nice carbon fiber on a ton mm. of knives that are way cheaper than this. So, you know, I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong, but, uh, I kind of like it. Yeah. I, I think, guess the first time I touched it, it felt really good to me. So maybe, yeah, I think for smaller know, hands, a small handed Here. person would 
Throw your it, hand out there. It feels. Oh, I screwed that up. I yeah. For, yeah. I got gun shy. I. It feels really good to flip it personally, and it fits really good in my hand. I don't like to hold knives like that. So yeah, she doesn't you, like I can't forward tell toils, you. but. But some, if you have smaller hands, then I think it's a prob probably a pretty good knife. Yeah, it does feel. I mean, I could do with a little bit more in the handle, but yeah, um, I could totally see myself throwing this in my purse and using it, mm. and just flicking it all the time because it feels mm, so good. There, <laughs> I don't know. This one just I like that, but you know, it was made by the four. Baron Forge sisters, so maybe you know, yeah, since women right. made it, they were had women in mind, right? Right, right. yeah. So, I mean, if the sisters made it, then it right. fits their hands, and that's fine, you know, it's yeah. all good. Um, so it just it was kind of surprising to me how small it was. I, I expected it to be just slightly bigger than this. Uh, so you know, just to give you a well, here it is against the rustic gent. Bye, Zach. Zach, you out of here, man. We'll see you later. Uh, have a good night. Hope you get to feeling better. Don't so, take my smart mouth personally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So you can see there that, uh, you know, you got a lot more cutting edge on the rustic gent. Uh, the handle is <laughs> here. We can do this. Try to line the pivots up. So you can see that the rustic gent, Sticks past quite a bit, and the blade is a little bit longer. Let so, me hold that gent. That's not the gent. That's the rustic gent. The, well, the rustic gent. Oh, I don't like but this kind. Here it is against uh, a uh, Hogue Deca. So most people are going to know, you know, same size as a, as a uh, Benchmade bug out. So, you know, it's a pretty small knife for sure. <laughs> but but it's cool. Cut away, steel, super steel, Steve. <laughs> I'm cutting myself. <laughs> I don't care. Do you think oh. I care? <laughs> That's funny. So, Why don't yeah. you cry on your pillow tonight? And, you know, all that kind of, I don't know. Since everybody seems to be all about the did you not know my heart was made of ice i have this guy here discussion about the the handles on this thing being stabilized wood versus you know whatever what it, yeah well it's it's like veneered plywood that's laminated or stabilized they oh. call it diamond wood apparently oh um i'm not a woodworker so yeah i don't know anything about any of that <clears throat> Yeah, but, you know, it looks, uh, you can see that it's layered from the, mm, okay. the lines where it's kind of like see. plywood. Yeah. But. Uh, I think it adds to the. The character. Edges, yeah. Adds to the character of it. Yeah, it looks nice. Mm -hmm. I like the aesthetic. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool looking knife for sure. So. I have many knives, in fact. Anyone need a kidney? <laughs> Actually, I only have two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just got a new kitchen knife. So, I mean, oh, yeah, grab I that. could do surgery with that. Yeah, we actually got, got a new kitchen. Go grab it. We'll I show can... it really quick. We got a, a cool new kitchen knife. We and... showed it last time. No, we didn't. Yaha. I don't think so. Yaha. I'm we? right, right, guys? I'm right. Have you guys seen this kitchen knife? I'm always right. Well, Steve wasn't here last time, and he's a chef, so he can okay. tell us if this is any okay, good Okay, well, Steve, I'm going to go ahead and cut off your balls with this when I see ya. This, thing, this thing's actually pretty cool. Get the slow reveal Zayf pin there. Ooh, with knife some, porn. With some, <laughs> yeah, knife porn. <laughs> oh, no crying. Did you order a pizza? <laughs> <laughs> So oh we got the God. smooth G10, the mosaic pin. People are getting think we're weird. We got some 14C28N. And yeah, it is an eight inch chef knife. Pretty cool. And uh things pretty pretty thin behind the edge and pretty sharp. 
Uh, I actually I tested this on the old sharpness tester, and this thing I think was like 70 on the sharpness tester. So perfect for castration. And that was that was right out of the box. So that's pretty cool. Definitely a pretty cool knife. And uh, I saw that you can buy this thing from Tucson and 14C28N, which I honestly, I don't know what most chef knives are for blade steel. Um, I'm, Steve, I'm sure could speak way more to that. Uh, but I would think that 14C would be a decent uh, knife uh, steel in the kitchen. Uh, it's going to be fairly stainless anyway. Uh, and hold a, you know, should hold a pretty decent edge if it's done well. And uh, you can buy this knife for like 50 bucks, 50 or 60 Chats. bucks, which seems pretty. Says it's like in a the Ally deal. store. Um, Maybe if he's talking oh, about Ali, that. Oh, AliExpress, yeah. yeah. Yeah, What do you know what it is on there, Chad? How much they sell for <laughs> on the AliExpress store? <laughs> yeah, it keeps deleting your comments. That's awesome. You're getting you're getting freaking censored by the man. My name is my main name is not Bobbit. Although thank <laughs> you, dude. That, that's a conversation we don't even need to start having right there. <laughs> I'm not sure who went there, but uh, and Tess, says, I wish I had eight inches. Dot 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 of kitchen knife. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Ah, oh, jeez. So, so yeah, this. Uh, the old, the Great. old Tucson kitchen knife. I'm gonna out chef that Florida motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet rig. And like I said, you can find them on eBay for like less than you know around fifty bucks or even less. As yeah, it Chad's a seems deal. like a pretty nice knife for that kind of money. Uh, it certainly came really sharp out of the box, mm -hmm. and the grind lines look really good. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a chef by any means, so. Um, yeah, I Sliced don't know. Veggies better than what I was using at the time. Yeah, yeah, I've cut a few things with it, just kind of messing around, and it, it, yeah, it, it seems good. So it's weighted really well. It's balanced really well. Um, so yeah, it's kind of nice. It's so great, it's just great. So you know, and then we got stuff like this right <laughs> here. <laughs> got this, uh, this pig sticker right here. This thing is twelve and three quarter inches of. Eerie, right there. Gets so, yeah. Trade. I I traded uh, uh, a Spider Co knife that I had for it. That was, I mean, as far <laughs> as like value was concerned, these things sell for like two times what that Spider Co was. So I figured I wasn't getting hurt, and it was worth taking a look at just for the jackassery the, of the whole thing. The and I, BBC of knives. Yeah, for sure. The big black cock. Got it. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. <clears throat> and it's a single action OTF. Uh, and it de definitely does not come out with the type of authority that I thought it would. I guess I, this is the first single action OTF I've ever had. Uh, but, but you know, the guy who had it and the guy that I got it from obviously never really used it. Although there are a few little scratches that this is just powder coated aluminum there's a couple little nicks in the hand but the blade you can tell that i mean it's still wearing the factory edge and it is a a dagger to right there you got this little section of serrations and then you've got a sharpened edge here and then of course all the way down this edge there the blade on this, the guy, I think, is five and three quarter, almost six inches. But will it kill? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure it'll kill. I'm I'm pretty sure it will. Mm -hmm. And it's it's surprisingly light for how big this thing is. So it's got the scale sitting here. This thing's 12 and three quarter inches overall. And yeah, six and a half ounces. So it weighs the same as the old uh bodega so definitely oh my finger was in the way so you can see there there's a <laughs> there's a little difference it's gonna be like me just standing next to steve oh yeah it's gonna look just like that right yeah yeah so anyway <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah yeah all right, guys. Well, we've gone over an hour here. It's been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed it. Um, definitely had some good laughs tonight, which is awesome. 
So you guys have any questions or anything, anything you want to see before we call this, call this a night? Dang you. <laughs> you better watch out. Except might... I'll hand, have a hand a nut. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> except I'm guessing some message or something out there. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just take that as super CLC. He likes dicks. Yeah, well, and that's that's understandable. So everybody, <laughs> you heard it here. So anyway, guys, thanks a lot for coming and having a good time with us. It was a lot of fun. Enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, I'll be posting some new stuff here pretty soon. I got, like I said, some giveaways coming up. <laughs> um, if anybody's looking for a cool little fixed blade, this manly drugger. Uh, it uh, looks like a good one for sure. I'm this live stream this. definitely will never get monetized, but as long as I'm not. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. No, the, yeah. We're not going for, for uh, being monetized here tonight. We're just, we're just having fun. So definitely. Uh, hey. Uh, yeah. I'm not even going to try that. That's French. What? Ja Jackson Perot. Perot. Uh, yeah. uh, go ahead. Show us your French skills from high school. <laughs> no, that's not. He is French. Okay. He's from France. I'm pretty positive about that. Pearl. I might be wrong. For two. Yeah. But that doesn't make sense to me. That's not. Naked like... MMA match at Blade. I'm down, dude. Let's get it. <clears throat> like I said, we're gonna have Whoa. to talk about we're gonna, we're gonna have to talk about that. Uh, you know whether we're doing seven second rounds or like seven to twelve second rounds, something like that. Is butthole bleaching required? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. We're going. I'm going for grossing people out. Oh, so right on. Well, <laughs> yep, yeah, Paris, you. France. Uh, you all heard it here first. Perfect. A minute to win it, son. We'll be there. So, Bunzo, Bunzo's reviews. What's up, brother? We're, we're Did just you getting just ready. Get here? Yeah, you missed a whole bunch, dude. If you just pulled in here, you're gonna have Boy, to. Boy, you gonna, late. <laughs> you're gonna have to go back and watch. Um, <laughs> but uh, right on, guys. Full well, body Brazilian. <laughs> full body Brazilian. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna be like oh yeah, God, no that that no ain't happening, baby. Yeah, no that ain't happening. <laughs> but uh, oh yeah, it, it wouldn't be good at all. Be two man sized babies yeah, out there. You guys there. be all sweaty because you're old, yeah, bad, and yeah. then you'd be all slippery. Oh yeah. gross. Yeah, be, I'm gonna not, throw it would, up. <laughs> it would not be good at all. So right on what? He's a tender starfish. <laughs> 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 oh, I love oh it. my god good times uh, right on guys well <clears throat> thanks so much for having fun with us tonight <laughs> it was a great time um i got to talk a bunch of dumb shit and sorry and, we're like this <laughs> yeah look at some knives <laughs> and whatnot but it was a lot of fun really enjoyed it uh and we'll put we will... pictures of the puppies up on instagram for those of you that oh. didn't see them I watch said you sent something. So I'll check that out. And uh Yeah. Hooray for knives and butt stuff. <laughs> <laughs> knives and butt stuff. Yeah. Oh <laughs> Love you too, Steve. We'll talk to you later. Uh, bye guys. All right, guys. <laughs> Have a good night. Have a good week. Later on. <laughs>